data is the new oil. With organizations losing nearly $15 million annually because of useless data, trained data science professionals adept at data cleanup and extracting valuable information are always in demand. Simply Learn provides free courses on the Scala platform to cater to market requirements for budding data scientists. Today, we will cover the roadmap a data scientist must follow to get themselves trained before they start their journey in data science. We will show how Scala courses can prepare you on a fundamental level to make it easier for you to tackle the intricate problems later on in your career. But before we move forward, make sure you're subscribed to the channel and have hit the bell icon to never miss an update. So here is a 10 step plan to get you started in your data science roadmap. Since the major chunk of data science deals with numbers and long spreadsheets, having your maths basics strong will provide a very strong foundation. Topics like linear algebra, matrix, vector calculus, classification, and regression are an absolute must if you want your data scientist journey to be as fluid as possible. The next step would be to learn statistics and probability. Though these fall under the mathematics umbrella, these two topics need to be studied in depth since many of their concepts would be useful later when designing reports based on thousands of gigabytes of data. Once the math sections are covered, you can move over to the computer screen. And surprisingly, the next step would be to put your programming skills at the forefront. Data structure and algorithms are very important to master, along with languages like Python, R, Java, and even C++ sometimes for performance-based optimizations. Most organizations in the data science business tend to use Python as the main language, working with NumPy and Pandas libraries. So, Learning these concepts should be a top priority in your learning journey. You can start by taking up a Python libraries for data science course, ensuring you do not miss out on any framework that may be essential in your data science roadmap. Now, once programming basics are covered, you can take up machine learning. Because machine learning is one of the most important aspects of data science and the most popular research topic among academics, breakthroughs in this area are developed every year. At the very least, one must understand the fundamental techniques of supervised and unsupervised learning. These algorithms can be implemented using several Python and R libraries. Intermediate topics like XGBoost and cross-validation are crucial cornerstones that will prepare you for your data science role. You can learn all these topics and more in Simply Learn's Machine Learning Skill Up course, which will cover the basics of ML or up to their advanced sections. The next step would be to study deep learning. Deep learning builds and trains neural networks for structured information using frameworks like TensorFlow and Keras. The deep learning for beginners course will cover the most important topics like neural networks, PyTorch and TensorFlow object detection API among others. Once deep learning is completed, feature engineering should be the next milestone. Data scientists can benefit from feature engineering by minimizing the time it takes to collect data variables, helping them extract more variables. Automation of feature engineering will enable organizations and data scientists to create more accurate models. Next on the dock would be Natural Language Processing or NLP. Simply Learn's online natural language processing and text mining course explains how machine learning techniques can process enormous volumes of natural language data. The course covers the fundamentals of natural language processing and text mining and how to begin applying these techniques in a data science profession. Now that we understand how to work around the data, the next step would be to present the data in the most appealing way possible. This is where tools like Power BI and Tableau are helpful, allowing data scientists to understand what the data is trying to show and make development related inferences. Check out the free introduction to data visualization course where you will use tools such as Tableau, Power BI, Excel, R and Python to generate visualizations. By the end of the course, you will have a clear cut understanding of how to derive meaningful conclusions from data. Once you master the art of extracting valuable data, you should focus on deployment. In most cases, building a model is not the end of the process. In data science, deployment refers to implementing a prediction model using new data. So learning how to deploy your model efficiently will be the final step in your journey to be a data scientist. Now that you are well acquainted with the field of data science, you can start by covering case studies on projects that include multiple frameworks like Keras, TensorFlow, PyTorch, among others. Working on case studies and creating your own models will help you master these technologies and enable you to implement them in various situations. So that wraps up our 10-step plan for your data science journey. You can find the links in the description regarding the courses mentioned in the video. And like you mentioned before, all the courses are free and will make you a part of the Simple Learn Learners Network that can further help your career thanks to a completion certificate at the end of the course. Let's get introduced to the Simply Learn app where you can easily access all the skill up courses directly on your smartphone. Through the Simply Learn app, you can enroll in free online courses and certifications that will take you to your next big career break in data science. The interactive Simply Learn app allows you to handle all aspects of an enrolled course, including the course details, content, and quizzes. I hope this video cleared all your doubts about how to get started with data science. Please let us know in the comment section below if you have any queries. Subscribe to our channel for more informative videos like this. And thank you for watching. 
Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.